जय श्री माता जी लेट्स हम्बली बाउ डाउन सीकिंग परमिशन फॉर दिस मॉर्निंग्स मेडिटेशन रेज आ कुंडलिनीज एंड पुट आर सेल्फ्स इन अ बंधन Let's continue listening to Shri Mata Ji's talk from yesterday.
with any emergencies, you must slow and steadily work it out. And it will build up by itself. It will have that power, I assure you. But meditation is one way, another is the knowledge of Sahaja Yoga. Not showing off, not telling others, but working it out on yourself. Different chakras, how they work out. On yourself, not on others. Once you start teaching others, it's a booth. You better learn it for yourself and within yourself. I know who has mastered who, which chakra, which. Nobody tell others the this is the way to do it, that is absolute nonsensical ego. So such things should not be done. If somebody asks you, you can tell, individual. But on a large scale, you do not give lectures on that. And don't confuse people. Now, so we have two things that we have to get over our emotional uh, grossness and our mental grossness. Same with our physical grossness. Physical grossness can be overcome if you surrender yourself. To one medicine is vibrations. Like Anupama, my grandchild, told her mother, you were born in allopathy, then you are falling from your path. Tomorrow you'll find out some jumbo path, then some numbo path. So, but I'm born in God and I follow only God's path. And God will look after me and God will cure me. So my daughter said, why? You may also change. He said, why? Because God never changes. Simple answer. God will cure me. But you must have that much assent to say that. As you just jump out in the time of emergency, same sort of an urge, that same sort of a personality should be within you to say that. Just if you say, Oh, God, please save me. God has no time for such a thing. You have no time for God. God has no time for you. Simple thing. So from sublime to mundane things when we come, we exist in both the things and we are reflecting. Whether we are in the lamp or in the light or in the oil, we are at a subtle point. And we, if you the effectiveness without being the cause, because you are beyond the cause. So there is no need to create any cause for anything, but you see the effect. So the, once the cause is finished, effect is achieved and it achieved what is to be achieved, the correctness of it, the correct thing you get. You do not get perverse things. But if you go with the cause, then you can have perversity, you can have all kinds of problems. So the best thing is to detach yourself from causes. And then you get the effect like as I told you that the brake got all right, the effect was there, the car was all right, everything was fine. So the effect was all right. But the cause was lost, there was no cause. Why? How? How the thing was perfected. If you ask the effect of it, you say, how did it get? You can't explain, it didn't work out. So because the cause is missing, you cannot put it to any cause. You sometimes say it's divine whether it worked out. So the only cause that is really effective is divinity. But the divinity should not be just as a uh, mundane sort of a thing, all right, yes, Mother's photograph is there, namaste, go ahead, all right, namaste, good morning, Mother, finish. That's not good. You have to know your Mother and you have to love your Mother. That is what it is. It's very embarrassing to say that you must love me. But as a Mother in this lifetime, I have done many embarrassing things and one of them is this. But 
I don't know how to tell the truth. But this is a fact. So you need not go through any emergencies or any such problems. You just develop yourself in such a way that you are so developed that it just acts and works out. So I'll give you an example of that. It works the least in India, surprisingly, where I work the most. <coughs> least in India. I'll give a simple example now. You see, you are coming to India. It was decided I don't know how many months back. I've been to India once. And now I'm going second time. And England is the only place where you have to pay the money directly. People have not yet paid. But Australians have done it. Australians who are 80, 85 people have done it. But English have not done it. Everything they are doing. But when it comes to ego, they are the first. Their flags are the first. In ego, where did it generate? In England, the great. So when it comes to doing something, they are the slowest. When it comes to criticism, they are the highest. And then when it comes to the ego, suddenly you see, give them any position. They get you. Why? Again, you can explain. Because there's a cost. You say it is inertia. Blame someone, or it's a boot, or it's my ego, or my super ego, it's not mine. Myself, I'm, I'm all right. Some cause. Why you have not paid so far? It's such a problem. I have to go now. If you were not coming, you should not have come. But if you are paid, you are going to pay for it. Now what's the matter with you? They started with fifty people, now we ended up with thirty-five. We have arranged for it, we have ordered for things, and we have got the buses and all that. Now we are busy. Nobody asked you to come. On the contrary, I was saying, keep it low, keep it low, so that we make it nice. But you cannot have less than three hundred fifty, or you can have three hundred, you can have two hundred. But you cannot just have two hundred, two hundred and ten. Where to put them? A simple thing. See on the Monday is time. But in other places, what they have done? All right, you have to go. Mother will work it out. It's worked out. Everybody has got money. Everything done. It's all there. Americans have done it. Surprise! But English, they don't know whether they are going or not. Still, there are some. Who are coming has to run up and down for all of you. I tell you, he's the one who has such patience. And I was amazed that there are still eleven people who have not paid. Can you believe? I mean, it's such a simple thing. If you don't want to go, don't go. If you want to go, you go. Tell him you are not going or you are going. Finish. I mean, nobody wants you there. But even this little thing you cannot because you have a kind of a cause to show. Because, because this has happened, because that has happened, because this has happened. So the English have to come up much more, because I have really worked for these people very, very hard, and again God has made me work again five years more with you, I don't know what we are going to do. Sometimes I feel I should not be back, because no use. This is a small example. I very small example, it's very mundane that you can see in other places also, like that. You tell them anything, but why, brother, it happens like that? Why do I do like this? I mean, asking me a question, asking me the cause. Why did I behave like this? Why do I get into trouble? Like, I've known people who have been coming to Sahaja Yoga, doing Sahaja Yoga and all that, but then they go to some other Steiner's place, then they go to some other courses. I mean, they have no faith in Sahaja. They are practicing this, they are practicing that, like mad, still going on. That's only possible in England, I think. Nowhere else, it's a speciality. I've known of so many people who came to Sahaja Yoga without practicing Sahaja Yoga, curing, helping them in Sahaja Yoga, working it out. They are in Sahaja. 
they are going to displace that liquor. You see, stomach? Now, I have known also people who try to blame the leaders. I am telling you all these things because I was very sick when I came here, really, I tell you. I was sick for eight days and I was sick even afterwards because, you know, you are all in my body. I suffer, so I must tell you. And then they said the leadership is no good, leader should be very strong and leader should be this and the they leader must have a big pain in the house and then they said, if it's us, we are not going to go. Again the cause, again the cause. I tell you, you have one of the best leaders in Gavi, I must tell you. He's the man who spent a lot of money without telling me, he's covered many expenses, his office has worked for us, he took all nonsense secure people. If I told him this fellow is getting some ego, he'll employ in his office. If I say this fellow has got boots, he'll employ in his office. He has he has worked with such roots that I could not manage them even for a day. He tries his level best to go to people and tell them that, see now, come. He has saved so many by his sense, by his understanding. But the only thing is he openly doesn't need, that's his mistake. He should openly tell, you are a boot and get cured, then he's your man. But he should say, come here, you see, you are a boot, doesn't matter, I've got lemons for you, chilies, you sit down. Then mother, he was identifying himself with the greatest boot. Let us face it. If you have understanding of your leader, then you should know that I know better than you know about it. And this is very sad thing sometimes. Why don't you understand the sheer goodness of a person? The amount of boots he has tolerated in an office, I tell you, I can't stand them for more than one day some of them. So egoistical some of them, off their heads. And some of them are so British that even if they come downstairs, I get a pain in the stomach, in my house. But he's true. Why? What was the need? Just that he thought he helped. Whenever I told him that this person is a Buddhist, I find him employed by Mr. Gavin Ram. Then one day I had to tell him, sack all of them, and they were sacked. Why do we have the maximum number of boots in India like others? Is it necessary to have them around? On the day when I am going, I should not tell you these things. But when I go away, I find these boots come back and they become the causes and the effects are shown. So I have to make a complete open picture to you to see that you can ascend to the highest of highest being born on this great land of this country. But you can also go very down and see. Because you always blame something. Last of all, government. This is the worst thing that you have done. Let anybody say that to Gregor, he chop that person off ten times and bring that person to in chop stages. <laughs> really, I tell you. He will say, what? Nonsense? All right. Just go ahead. You tell this to Warren, I don't know what he will do with all his Australian time. They are all gems, no doubt. But you deserve a man like that. I thought, you are special people, that I've worked for you so much. No, no, who is? Decent people don't need such leaders, do you? But the people who are decent now turn out to be Australians, surprisingly, the way they behave towards things. I mean, so sweet they are, you'll be surprised. The children, you know, I mean, uh, he what? some cups and saucers for me because when I go there, uh, they thought they'll give me tea, good cups and saucers. So he bought for all the centers one cup and saucer, good one. So the children, little, little children, they collected money. After all, mother will have a cake, also must have a plate with her. So they sent a check in, just how sweet. But I never eat cakes, you know that, but still. <laughs> so sweet. The children, I should say. What is the reason? Why do we 
dominate or get dominated. Why? Again, the cause. Go beyond the cause. I bless you again and again today. That when I come next time, see that you don't make any mistakes anymore. Meditate and meditate and meditate. And when you come to India, some of you, I would like to show them as my prize things. For where I've worked, you know. Even when I've not been, you see, somebody else has given realization to someone in Nepal, you see. And they have wonderful showers and here I am. Something wrong with me. Well, I have worked. People are more worried about the causes. I have to really make a very, very straightforward appeal to you that now grow within yourself. Are you magnanimous? Are you generous? Are you systematic? Are you impressive? Are you kind? Are you collective? Are you attached to all these nonsensical things still? Do you talk big? Do you give big lectures? Humble down yourself. And then you will see your greatness. Unless until you put your head down to your heart, how do you see your mother? I wish you all great luck now and happy Christmas to you and a happy new year and a very great new year in spiritual world. Let's show it. Let all of us decide it. Forget about your wives and husbands and children and this and that nonsense now. You are yogis. You are united with divine, growing, prospering. May God bless you. Let's continue sitting in meditation, listening to the praise to Sri Jesus Christ and Mother Mary in Latin. As we meditate with all the surrender, with all the humility, we ask Mother to please dissolve all our emotional bindings and all our mental bindings. Shramataji, I surrender all the causes within me and without that are hindering my ascent. Mother, I humbly surrender at your lotus feet.
with all our humility, we surrender our ego and superego and bend our heart, head towards our heart. As we go in meditation, Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Let's put our hands together, humbly bow down, thanking Sri Mataji for the opportunity of this morning's meditation, for the blessings of Sahaj and the gift of Sahaj Yoga to humanity. Yes, Sri Mataji. Thank you, everyone, for your vibrational presence. And have a fantastic day, Jai Shri Mataji. We'll raise our Kundalini and put ourselves in a bandhan.
daughter of the eternal king, storehouse of heaven's treasure, loving and full of joy. Resurrection, she the faith of 